Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about extract today. I see a lot of people spend a lot of money on either enhanced kratom or extract. And making an extract is the easiest thing in the world. And then you can either add some to a kratom to make your own enhanced, or just take the extract when you have a bad pain day, or just want to chill out, right? So there are two ways, like if you really want a basic extract and you want it right now, the fastest and easiest way is to take your kratom and just steep it in hot water. Uh, hot to the point where, like I put it in a pot and you get the water just below boiling and heat it for like an hour and then filter it out. Make sure you get all the plant matter out of it and it's just the nasty looking water. And then you have to kind of let that evaporate. You put it in a hot room, open, spread out. Put it in like a big casserole pan and just let it evaporate. You put it in the sun. Just remember, if you put it in the sun too long, one of the theories is, is that it breaks down the alkaloids, especially when it's just a water extract. You could put it in the oven, but be very careful. It's very, very easy to burn it, and then you end up with unusable, nasty charcoal. It's horrible. So that's it. Heat the water with kratom in it, steep it for a while, drain it, evaporate it, and what's left, you can break down into a powder, add to kratom, or take as is. All right, now to get the most, like the full spectrum alkaloids, you're gonna wanna do, you can do a basic alcohol extraction. I just use cheap vodka, because you have the water and the alcohol, it tends to pull out more of the alkaloids that you want. So I'll put it in just a jar, any jar. Put the kratom in like an old uh, spaghetti sauce jar. Fill it up however much I wanna put in there. And then I put alcohol in there just to where it's underneath where the alcohol is over the kratom and it's fully, fully, fully soaked in there. And then I'll just leave it for a week in a dark area. Once or twice a day, I'll just shake the shit out of it, make sure it stirs up. And uh, throughout the process, you can do some other things. You can add a little bit of citric acid or lemon juice. Allegedly, it helps preserve and to further extract some more of the good stuff. But, all right, so once you've had that in there sitting for a week, you're gonna wanna take it out. And I'm ordering some cheesecloth for this. I usually end up using a t-shirt and basically ruining it. I get, yet again, the big casserole dish or any baking dish, just something big. The more, more surface area that ends up on there, the faster it'll evaporate and you'll end up with your finished product. Okay, so you open up the jar. It'll be pretty nasty, that's all right. So then once the jar is open, you're gonna wanna filter the stuff out. A coffee filter may seem like a good idea, but it ends up just being awful. Don't try it. Um, this last time, I just took some rubber bands and I put my shirt over it to where like the middle of the shirt is over the lid and you pull it out so it looks like a loose condom and then rubber band it on there and then hold it upside down and you let all the mushy nasty get in there and it just it strains it out you can squeeze it you squeeze it too hard stuff might pop through you don't want any of the plant matter in this that's why i'm getting cheesecloth and trying some other ways of doing it so what i did a little bit different on this step is as I'm evaporating it, I read some stuff and I'm trying a couple different things. Like one, I've dried some of it completely and then I dissolved it in vinegar. And once I had it in the vinegar, I completely dissolved it and then strained it. And then I took that like nasty, dirty vinegar looking stuff and I'm drying that again further. But I'm gonna see if that can get a little bit cleaner of a product because I've been having a hard time getting anything better than like, it's not a bad extract, but I'm hoping to get something more on the form of like crystals, more pure of the, the extract. And I'm trying a small sample with putting it out in the sun to dry, because I've always heard that the sun and oxygen will break down the alkaloids, but 
Apparently, one study showed that while it's in its mixture of, like, the vodka or, or uh, anything else, that it's somehow the sunlight will convert the whatever to seven whatever, the better stuff. So we'll see. I'll show you guys that once I have it all done, put together. And that's it. That's the easiest way to make an extract that's delicious and it's exactly what you want. It's perfect. There is no need to be spending 50 bucks for a couple grams of a 50x that doesn't really mean anything. You don't know how, how they extracted it. You don't know if it's full spectrum. You don't know anything about it. But if you're getting your Kratom somewhere that you, that you like, then why not make a bomb ass extract yourself with the Kratom that you already trust? You know? Because most, unless you have a vendor that makes it themselves, but a lot of them seem to order in bulk extract made in Malaysia or something. And that's not really the best stuff. But that's it. I'll show you guys when I have it all dried out and done.